Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would talk about something a little bit different. We are going to be talking about my go-to restaurants here in Cebu. Now that I am pregnant, I eat out a lot because I have a lot of cravings. And instead of listing down my favorite restaurants in Cebu, which would be so hard to do because I have a lot of favorites, I am going to be listing down my go-to restaurants, the restaurants that you will easily find me in if ever you're looking for me, which please don't look for me. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> but these are the restaurants that are top of mind for me. I'm always there. Um, they're easy, they're breezy, <laughs> they're, I don't know how else you describe them, but if you want to see like what my go-to restaurants are in Cebu, if you're ever visiting Cebu, do check these restaurants out and please keep on watching. All right guys, my first restaurant top of mind right now is something that my pregnant belly has been craving this entire pregnancy. It is a ramen restaurant and it is Yushoken Ramen. You can find it in Oak Ridge along East Fortuna in Mandawe. And I have been visiting Yushoken for the longest time, but it wasn't really a special restaurant or top of mind restaurant until recently. I ate there with my best friend and her husband and they ordered a shoyu. She ordered a shoyu ramen and he ordered a tantan men ramen. And I always just order the basic shio ramen. But when I tried the shoyu ramen, which is kind of like a pork broth instead of the like salt-based shio, it was so good. Oh my gosh, I finished the whole bowl and then some. I finished her bowl as well. And don't worry, I'm still a pescatarian, so I asked them to remove the meat. You can do that. But if you are a meat eater or a meat lover, then it is infused with like a pork slice, like a pork chop slice on top and like ground pork within the soup, but you can just easily ask them to take it all out. I usually ask them to do a shoyu broth without the meat and add an aji tamago, which is like an egg, like a really yummy soy sauce, soft boiled egg of sorts that really just brings the whole flavor of the broth together. Now, if you are a pescatarian, there isn't really a lot on the menu that you can order that's just seafood based. I think if you're a vegetarian, you probably wouldn't want to eat there. But for pescatarians, you can order off the menu. They have a seafood ramen. It's not on the menu, but you can order it and they will serve it to you. I tried it out. I personally did not like it because it does have that sort of really fishy smell. But a lot of people do like it. So if you want to try it out, then by all means, the first go-to restaurant is Yushoken Ramen. Okay, my second favorite is a childhood classic. I've been going to this restaurant since I was an itty bitty baby. And it is called Ginza Japanese Restaurant. You can find it along Vanilla Street. I think you take a right somewhere along Vanilla Road and then it will lead you to the restaurant. It is an oldie but a goodie. I remember when I was young, we'd always have Sunday lunch there with my family. And up to this day, if my dad asked me, where do you want to have lunch? It's always Ginza, top of mind. I don't know why I feel like it's because I grew up with the food. It's very comforting to me. They're known for their Ginza fried rice, which is just a typical fried rice, but it has like meat in it and like a lot of butter. You can actually ask them to cook it on the spot. They have like cooking stations around the restaurant. Um, very entertaining, especially if you have kids with you because they do like an act with the eggs, they throw it in their hat, they catch it in the back and stuff like that. But if you don't want to smell like Japanese food when you walk out, then you can just sit inside the normal seating area without the cooking and that's fine too. Now that I am a pescatarian, I usually order the vegetable fried rice. I feel like it tastes the exact same. It's number one cheaper and it doesn't have any meat. I also really love to order, now that I'm pregnant, the ebi gyoza, which is kind of like a normal pot sucker gyoza, but instead of meat, they make it with shrimps. And their sauce is really, really good. I I don't know if it's authentic Japanese, I doubt it. I feel like it's kind of Japanese food that's been Filipinized, if that makes sense at all, but I really, really enjoy it. Their fish head is really good, we always order that. It's like, I know I really don't like fish heads per se, but it's like two heads in a spicy soupy broth or something. Um, yeah, so whenever we order that, I always just ask Lady to get me a piece because I can't stand getting meat from the head itself it just freaks me out but that's also something that's really good i love their tofu terrini um slater usually orders their like beef teppanyaki which is really good as well giant squid teppanyaki is really good as well they have really good special california maki and yes you have to order it special because it has like more fish roe on it what else do i like um i like their baked crab i don't know what you call it but it's kind of like a it's a baked crab like dish thing <laughs> not the best explanation but 
Yeah, it's so many different comfort food and I really, really enjoy Ginza restaurant. Okay, my third go-to restaurant here in Cebu is Tavolata restaurant. You will have seen it so many times on my stories. It is an Italian restaurant. It is part of the Abaca group. And I've celebrated my birthday there. When my friends come over from Manila, I always take them there. The place is very, very cute, artsy, aesthetic. It's kind of like the Sky Pod, but it's a restaurant. <laughs> um, it's made of wood and steel and glass. So you get the point, you get the picture. Um, I really love their pizza and their pastas. They're so good. I feel like it just tastes quality. You know what I mean? Like it's not like cheap ingredients. You can really tell that they have special ingredients. I also really love their Caesar salad. I think it's the best Caesar salad that I've ever tasted. Of course, I always ask them to put the bacon on the side. You can do that. Their dressing is not a typical like creamy Caesar dressing. It's kind of like an anchovy dressing that they do homemade. And so it just makes all the leaves a little bit more salty but it's not so creamy and heavy. I really, really like it, highly recommend it. I also love their vongole pasta. Um, I have a thing for vongole pasta. I try it in different restaurants and I guess that's how I tell if the restaurant is good or not. I know a lot of people do that with carbonara for the foodies out there, but um, their vongole pasta is really good. Their carbonara is good as well. They have this be um braised beef pepper deli which is like one of their best sellers that i really enjoy as well i just take the beef out because i don't eat meat but the sauce is so good my family loves it slater loves it for pizza i love their fruity de mare and they also serve side dishes that are vegetables like they have a grilled asparagus they have really good like broccoli and cauliflower oh my god Thinking about it right now makes me want to go out and have it right away. Um, it's just really, really good and I highly, highly recommend it as well. Okay, my fourth go-to restaurant is something that is very approachable, I would say. Um, it's everyone's favorite restaurant here in Cebu. I guess because it's so easy and when you go there, there's something for any diet. It is Cafe George restaurant. It's a staple here in Cebu. Um, a lot of people have tried it and when I go there with my family, it doesn't matter if there are senior citizens in the table, kids in the table, adults in the table, pregnant people in the table, you will find something that you can eat. It's just that easy. So a lot of the dishes are like rice meals. So you'll have like fish or poultry or pork. They also have pastas. They also have salads. They also have soups. They also have vegetarian options and like keto friendly options. And their dessert, their banana cake is like something that this pregnant mama has been craving since first trimester. So I really love eating in Cafe George. It's just a simple, no-nonsense restaurant and it's very, very affordable as well. Oh, you should try their hummus. Their hummus is really, really good. They also have like a cheese bacon dip, which is like really popular, but I actually just have a spinach dip, which is like a friendly or non-meat option. Oh, and a recent discovery is they have this three egg omelet with ham and cheese which is freaking good again i just take the ham out but i don't know how they cook their omelet it's like freaking good you should try it it's so good and last but not the least this is a restaurant that when slater and i were dating we would always visit it is a french bistro restaurant that is closed every monday so if you want to visit then you should go any other day but not monday it is called timad restaurant and it is along hmm I don't know what street you call that, but it's along the street where you find Streetscape and Henry Hotel on the way to the Bonilid Gate of Maria Luisa. If you're in Cebu, then you know where all these places are. But uh, the only problem I would say with Dimet is that the parking is really difficult. So you might want to carpool when you go there or a lot of times when we plan to go there, but there's no parking and we just end up eating it somewhere else. Parking is like, there are only three cars allowed <laughs> in that old restaurant. So that's the only thing, but what I love to order in Timad is their banana Nutella crepe. Guys, I don't know. It's just really, really good. It's a comfort food for me as well. If you're looking for something more savory, then they have the Timad crepe, which is like kind of like a burger crepe in one, if I'm not mistaken. I've never ordered it, but I've seen a lot of people order it. I personally like the Norwegian crepe, which is like a smoked salmon with like a cream sauce crepe. I really, really like it. And if you are not into crepes, then they also serve traditional French cuisines. Like, I don't know what French food are, like steaks and salads and sole fillets and traditional French stuff. They also have like different soups and stuff like that. And they also have really good desserts. Like they have this, what do you call it? They have this cake. It's in the shape of a rectangle. I think it's called a Timad cake. Trianon cake. 
It's a tree and on cake. Try it. It's so good. They also have Queen Amon, which is, I think is so good. They have croissants there. They have all the goodies that you would want from a French bakery. So do try it out if you're craving for something French. If you want, you can go to Yushiken first and then have coffee and tea mat and dessert there. That's what I usually do. Um, do check it out. I really, really enjoy tea mat as well. And yeah, I guess that is it for the top five go-to restaurants of mine in Cebu. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you're ever gonna come to Cebu or if you live here, please let me know in the comments down below which restaurants you love or which ones you wanna try out yourself. If you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do any more recommendations around Cebu, then please do leave me a comment down below as well so we can film that for you guys. And without further ado, please do not forget to like this channel, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.